welcome to part 5 guys and we are on our way to see Ambassador Carrig and try and uncover whatever this thing with the Scythians is all about no response huh? computer? open the door to habitat room 6A habitat room 6A is inhabited visitors are requested to utilize the entry chime to request admission from the occupant I've already done that, no one answered by disregarding the entry chime the occupant is demonstrating a desire to remain undisturbed. Visitors are requested to respect this request. This is an emergency. Open the door. Access denied. Guest privacy seal has been activated. Computer, override the seal on visitors' quarters 6A. Please provide security access code. Oh, great. Incorrect code. Security access code is required to override guest privacy seal. Access denied. Computer? Well, this isn't suspicious in the least. I mean, he's only asked for us personally and then ignored us completely. Um, I can't see how anything could be wrong at all. But just in case, I'm going to go and have a word with Odo about this. I mean, he's the, uh, he's the man to see about all these things, surely. Still can't find the ambassador? I've just come from the ambassador's quarters. Something's wrong. He's not answering the door. Computer, what is the location of Ambassador Carrig? Ambassador Carrig is in Visitor's Quarters 6A, in Habitat Ring A. He's still there. He could be in dormancy. It is possible. Hmm. Computer, activate guest summons in VQ6A. Security override Delta 65 Red. Audio. Activating. That ought to rouse His Excellency. The Cardassians who built this station didn't take kindly to being ignored. Their guest summons could get the attention of a hibernating Tiberian sloth cat. There is no response to the guest summons. That's odd. I tried to get in and check on him, but the door was sealed. Something's wrong. Hmm. You may be right. I'll check the... Care to security. Odo here. Odo, we've had... an incident on level 19. What is it, Major? Carlton and I are working on the shield generators. We were using one of those old Cardassian particle torches, welding a cracked bulkhead. He put it down for a second, and it was... gone. Gone? I mean gone. Vanished. And we're the only ones down here. We'd have seen anyone come through the maintenance conduit after us. Could someone have beamed it out of here? I'll check the security logs was right there. Stay put, Major. I'll get back to you. It appears you'll have to see to the Ambassador yourself, Envoy. I'm overriding the privacy seal on his quarters. The access code is Omega-738. Omega-738. Use it to let yourself in. I'll join you there as soon as I can. Okay, so uh, all we needed to do was convince him that... Uh the guy wasn't responding to me, and then I just get the key to his room so I can rob whatever I want in there. That seems fair enough. Uh, actually, in seriousness, obviously something's pretty wrong. Computer? So let's see what it is. Open the door to Habitat Room 6A. Habitat Room 6A is inhabited. Visitors are requested to utilize the entry chime to request admission from the occupant. Computer, override the seal on visitors' quarters 6A. Access code Omega-738. Access granted. Habitat room 6A is open. Thank you, computer. Okay, so let's have a look round. Wow, this place has been smashed to pieces. Uh, what the hell? What's that on the floor? I don't like the look of this. Kerrig. Wow, uh... Uh, quick, go before someone sees me. Shit. Don't move. And don't touch anything. What happened here, Envoy? It's Ambassador Carrick. He's dead. It would appear so. It's him, all right. Unless there was another Tyrion on board. Tyrion DNA particles. Not much left of his body structure. Whoever did this wasn't taking any chances. Odo to Cisco. Go ahead, Constable. 
I'm afraid our Scythian problem is more serious than we thought, Captain. Ambassador Carrick has been murdered. Murdered? When did this happen? From the looks of things, I'd say hours ago. I'm running a scan on the remains now. Talk to me, Constable. What do we know? Suspects? Witnesses? Who found the body? Envoy Bannock. He's here with me now. The body's at least four hours dead, Captain. I'll have to run a level four scan to learn more than that. But the plasma storm... I'm aware of the sense of problems, Constable. But if you tell me that Carrick was killed after 1900 hours yesterday... Then we've got a murderer on board. Major Kira? Right. All ships at dock. Security lockdowns... now. I'll get you those answers, Captain. Odo out. What kind of weapon could have done this? I'm reading considerable neutron disruption. Looks like a molecular inhibitor. Haven't seen one of these for a while. Messy, but effective. What did it do to him? It's a type of disruptor weapon. It inhibits the cohesion of organic molecules. I don't understand. A directed burst causes complex compounds to break down. The victim's cell structure just falls apart. Why would someone use a weapon like that? To avoid detection, probably. The station's weapon sensors aren't configured to scan for inhibitors. He was unarmed on a mission of peace. Why would anyone want to kill him? Oh, I'm sure any of the usual humanoid reasons would have sufficed. Jealousy, greed, revenge. Odo to Dax. Lieutenant, I'm feeding the tricorder readings directly into the main computer. Got them. High levels of plasma disruption. Terrigan radiation again. That's strange. Looks like traces of residual radiation on some of the personal effects. And a concentrated corrosive. The pad is thick with it. Could be a data wipe. Exactly. Someone wanted to cover their tracks. I'll route what's left of the pad data to Ops. Odo out. I'm always amazed at what humanoids consider motive for murder. You knew the Ambassador. Did he have many enemies? He was one of the most successful diplomats in the Corps, Mr. Odo. He had rivals all over the Federation. But none of them would resort to this. No. Diplomatic adversaries usually attack with subspace communiques, not disruptors. I doubt any of his enemies would resort to killing him. But look at this place. Someone's torn it apart. Maybe he was killed for something he had with him. You may be right. But what could the Ambassador have been carrying that would have been worth a man's life? Cisco to Odo. Odo here. Constable, is the envoy still with you? Yes, Captain. I believe we're through here. Have him report to me and Ops on the double. We've got a lot to talk about. Yes, sir. You heard the Captain Envoy. I'll see to it that Ambassador Carrick's remains are put in stasis. I'm sure your government will want to return them to his family. But the murderer... I'll want to interview you at length about this later, Envoy. But right now, Captain Sisko's requested your presence in Ops. I suggest you don't keep him waiting. Yeah, so I'll recap here. Basically, in true Star Trek fashion, especially DS9 fashion, the shit has hit the fan completely. Um what was supposed to be a routine first contact mission has turned into the people we're supposed to be negotiating with have apparently sent killer drones after the station um, ooh blue aliens uh, and the guy who was supposed to, we were supposed to be assisting with the negotiation has been murdered so computer Ops. Overall, this is not a good day at the office, and I'm afraid it's going to continue in part six.